Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for the last one of favourite projects revisited from 2020 and I couldn't really kind of just leave it without my collage masterboard and I know I talked about it once or twice in this series but obviously you know I couldn't make a whole nother collage masterboard um, scrapbook you know within one video because it's you know much more time consuming but I did make it in slow time so I'd been making this over the last um, couple of weeks anyway in the evenings whilst watching TV so I have another one I mean I still do have pages in my other ones um, <laughs> I know I talked about this before the problem is these really are lovely and tactile and um, yeah I just really love flicking through these so there then is a tendency to want to hold them and not actually use them. Um, so that's kind of, that's my issue with these. They're just so nice that actually parting with them is kind of a problem. But um, yeah, definitely, definitely, you know, I absolutely loved, loved, loved doing these last year. And um, yeah, I love the kind of fact that they're all contained within a book. Um, I love the fact that, you know, they're all staying together and I just tear out pages and I can flick through and, you know, be inspired by whatever that page kind of, um, you know, kind of calls me to really. So let's just kind of decorate one of these or, you know, use one of these pages to make some bits and pieces. So having a look, um, don't know what to go for. Uh, let's have a look. Trying to think what we've done during this series already and thinking what would be quite different to things that we have done already. So maybe I will go for these. So I'm going to take this one, which has got lots of kind of peachy sort of colours. So it's quite different, hopefully. I think it's quite different to everything else that we have done um, during this series, series so far. I've also got my Tim Holtz people because again I thought that possibly we could use some more of those um, to make some decorative pieces and things like that. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this down first of all and just deciding really how I want to cut it. I mean again the great thing about these masterboards is of course you know I could cut it into kind of four journal cards, I could make pockets, belly bands, you know however kind of takes my fancy really so just having a look to see what you know what way round I'm going to get the most interesting looking bits if that makes sense so I'm kind of thinking I wouldn't mind having this as maybe like a belly band piece along here so let's just chop that down here And obviously if I'm making it a belly band, I want it to be slightly taller than, you know, an average piece. So that's that one. And obviously if you've made one of these collage masterboard books, you know, your pieces are going to vary depending on the pages of your book, you know, the size of your pages. So, you know, that's what I'm saying about them being really quite fun because you're then going to have completely different size and shape pieces to what you would perhaps ordinarily go for. Um, tempted to have like a couple of corners actually <clears throat> from what's left or just wondering what to do here. So let's just have a look. Um, oh, it's a tough decision, isn't it? Unless I go for a corner here. Well, I guess I could go for two corners and then another. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to go for another kind of belly bandish type piece from that. And then from this piece, I'm just going to do another kind of couple of corners. So I'm just going to attempt to straighten that slightly because it was a little bit skewed. And then all I'm going to do is tear it straight through <clears throat> to make a couple of corner tucks. So that's my two corners. Okay, so now we've got a whole bunch of different pieces that we can decorate up. So should we work on the belly bands first? Let's try and be kind of like semi, semi organized. So obviously I've made a hideous job of cutting those. So I'm just going to neaten them up a little bit. Now this one is where I've torn it out of the book. So I'm just going to neaten that up a little bit down the side here as well. My daughter's up here with me at the moment. She's playing on Minecraft on the PlayStation. She um, 
yeah, seems to have got into that recently. So she's played it a couple of times with her brothers. Uh, yeah, a couple of times, haven't you? And um, I think she had played it before, but certainly not for a while. So, um, yeah, she's developed a new, new love for it, which, you know, of course is fantastic when I'm trying to do things because, um, you know, she's kind of entertained on there which is brilliant okay right so that's my pieces now this one oh my gosh it's still horribly skewer so let me just so this is just getting skinnier and skinnier as I speak okay that's fine so that's my belly band pieces and like I say I have bought along the Tim Holtz people because I thought they might be quite nice with these <clears throat> I mean, those people, they're just really good, aren't they, on everything, to be honest. You know, they do look really good. I know I've said this so many times, but honestly, I'd had these in my stash, like, for ages, and kind of, I couldn't quite bring myself to use them. I'm not sure why. I just kept thinking, oh, they're really strange, you know. Um, but now that I have used them, I really do love using them. So, uh, yeah, I've done a complete kind of U-turn, really, and decided that they're actually absolutely awesome right I do quite like this boy on here I'm just going to check that I wouldn't prefer to swap them around uh, I might not go with those ladies but I do really like the boy he's he's looking really good so as always you know like where he's got the um you know his arm is hooked on something isn't it so I do kind of, whenever I like, you know, see something like that, I do like to have something that he's, you know, supposedly leaning on. So let me just pull in some little bits and pieces. Oh, they're, they're not little. They're pretty huge. So, yeah, not those. I'm just having a look to see what I've got actually laying around on my desk. And, of course, me being me, I have got a whole bunch of stuff here on my desk. Hang on. Let's see what else I've got. I mean, it's just so handy when you can just use something that's already laying about, isn't it? And you don't have to go off hunting for other things. Um. <clears throat> oh, I don't know now. Um... Might have to just pull in my ephemera kind of folder, I think. But, you know, ephemera box, not folder, sorry. To see if I've got anything in there that I could use, because I'm just not really seeing anything that's that's drawing me in so far. Um, no, nothing. Nothing calling me so far. Uh, okay. Right, let me just have a quick look beside me. So I've got some of my glue book favourites and um, I do really like using some of those bits, to be honest, you know, as things that people can lean on because they just work out really well, I think. So, oh, I've got a Tim Holtz person in there, look. You're having a pink bed? Oh, I think in Minecraft they kind of build their own homes, don't you? So... Oh, there are villages, but yeah. So when she says she's having a pink bed, that's in her that's in her Minecraft home. Let's just have a quick look. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, that's quite sweet. Um, I'm not too sure, actually. I'm thinking maybe some windows might be quite good. Let me just get my windows. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I couldn't actually find my windows, which is very irritating because I've actually got a whole bunch in a little packet that I've put them in. And clearly, you know, trying to kind of keep tidy as often is the case. I've now put them somewhere. And now I can't remember where I've put them. So, yep. I'm just going to kind of improvise and do something else. So 
I've got these little die cut pieces. These are from Kayser Craft. I had these in my stash for like a really long time. I might have used just like one or two, mainly because I'm hoarding them. Yep, I don't know why, but you know me, for some reason, I then can't bring myself to use these things. So um, I thought that these might go quite well with this kind of theme actually. So let's have a look and see what we can pull out. So I've already kind of tentatively put that one there, although I think it's actually a little bit on the dark side, but I guess what we could do is layer a couple up like that. Now these come with this white edge, not round every single one, because obviously this is also out the packet and it hasn't got the white edge, but I'm just going to cut around that white edge to, you know, get rid of it completely. So we'll just go in like that. And of course, once this is all linked and things, it will hopefully look really nice. So let's just go along there. Okay. I mean, this I presume is kind of like a, a book cover front, isn't it? Um, which is beautiful, actually, I have to say, but it obviously is quite plain. And to be honest, when you put it on there and then just put him, he actually looks a little bit, you know, it looks a bit plain. But if I layer it up, with another piece then it actually looks you know really nice I think so let's just ink that up and just using this is actually walnut stain this particular one that I'm using here I've got my vintage photo as well but yeah I'm just just using the walnut stain right now so we take that and then we'll just ink around the edges here so as it sort of stands out a little bit more as well Okay, <clears throat> and then we'll just layer those up. Now, I will just kind of give him a little bit, just a tiny bit of inking, doesn't need much. And I've just spotted he's got a little little piece there that just needs popping out. Okay, okay, right. So I'm first of all just going to layer this up. So, oops, I nearly layered it upside down. So. <laughs> Let's try and put it up the right way. Okay. So just pop that down like that. Okay, and then just press that down. Oh my goodness, look at how crooked that's gone. <laughs> the glue, obviously, it's making it slide around a little bit. And um, wow, what a mess. Morning, sweetie. Okay. Right, so that's that one. And we're just going to put that there. And then he's going to be kind of leaning on that, like that. And then in this particular die cut set, there's loads of these little kind of, you know, um, I don't know, circle sentiment type pieces. So I could have something like that on there as well. There are actually kind of these ones as well, but obviously that's too big. So I'm thinking I could take this one live in the moment. Unfortunately, I no longer have a one inch circle punch because, well, I say that this may actually be one and a half inches, to be honest. Probably before hacking around at this and making a hideous job of cutting it, I should have tried it with my one and a half inch circle punch, but never mind. Okay, well, it doesn't look too, too bad, does it? So just ink that up. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? And we'll just have him kind of up there, leaning against that. Okay, let's just pop that down. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're managing to get some crafting in. What are you working on? Are you doing anything fun? Are you perhaps revisiting some favourite projects and things that you did last year or maybe that you saw on somebody's channel last year? I think the thing is with crafting, there's so many, you know, lovely projects. It's really just having enough time to actually do them all, all the things that we want to do. It's... um. Yeah, just, just managing to fit them all in, I think, is the toughest thing. 
So I'm just going to have that there. I mean, I know that, you know, I've said this before, but I mean, I, I'm always seeing things and I think, oh, you know, I can't wait to try that, can't wait to try that. And then, you know, of course, we've got things that we're, you know, in the middle of doing. And then by the time that you've, you know, finished what you were doing, you've either forgotten what the project was that you saw, or of course, you've seen other things <laughs> that you also want to do. So it's like a never ending kind of spiral, isn't it? Of, um, you know, kind of almost like constantly playing catch up of all the wonderful things that we want to try. Okay, so I'm going to have him like that. Now I'm just wondering whether I might have a little number or something with him because um, I think he'd look good with a number. Now, I have got some numbers here. Okay. Don't know whether that colour. Yeah. Or do we want the kind of black? I wonder if I've got some of these printed off smaller. Hold on, let me just have another look. So I've got all of these in my my little envelope here that's kind of stuffed to the brim. And of course, no, I don't know whether I've got any smaller ones. They might be, that might be it. Hold on. So you think that you're really prepared sometimes when you come along to do a video and then straight away, well straight away I didn't have my windows that I was looking for, now I don't have the number size that I would have liked to use. So yeah, clearly not prepared at all. But I mean sometimes it's just kind of tricky isn't it because you just don't know until you get making, you know, exactly what things you would have liked or, you know, are going to like. <clears throat> So I might have it like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's just pop this one down. Oh, it's a horrible drab day. It's just raining. I think it's going to rain all day. I'm sure I heard them say it was just raining the whole day today, so... Yeah, my daughter will be breathing a sigh of relief because there'll be no walk today. Yay, no walk. <laughs> She's just looked around and smiled. That kind of, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> no walk. Okay. Now I'm wondering whether I could put him kind of like just glue him, glue him on top and bottom. And then he could be a kind of belly band which I think would be quite fun. So before I do that, I'm going to just rough up the edges of this a little bit. Okay, oops. Okie dokie, and then just going to ink it all up. <clears throat> Okay, there we go, and then just going to pop him on, like I say, just top and bottom, and then he'll be like a little um, belly band. But before I do that, I may actually stitch around the edge of here, um, and I will do that obviously before putting him on, because other he otherwise his arm's right on the edge. So I'm just going to put that on the floor behind me because I may stitch some other pieces. So let's pull in this one now. What was I doing with this one? Oh, we were going to have this as a, um, you know, a thing of me bog bob. Oh, <laughs> sorry, can't talk. Thing of me bob. Thing of me bob. Um, just like a little pocket. So. that there and to be honest I might as well just you know continue in this theme with using some of these lovely die cuts I've also got this stamp which um, when I was rummaging for the windows I came across this stamped image from my crafty individual stamps that I did the series using last year it was around this time last year because I'm sure that I did it yeah I'm sure January or something um, 
and I thought this would be really great on this kind of colour as well. So I might have that. And did we want to have any kind of people on there? I don't know whether they're quite quite right or whether you know whether we'd even have people with the with the car. That might just be a little bit strange, but well, not strange because I mean obviously people do have cars and do drive cars, but you've got a chicken on there. Oh, he's a strange looking chicken, isn't he? I might prefer that without the people, actually. So let me just think this up. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I don't know whether any of you guys have seen Minecraft, but I mean, that's not like any chicken I've ever seen. Everything's very kind of like boxy and square. It's kind of like made from almost like Lego. Looks like the pieces are made from Lego. So yeah, it doesn't really kind of resemble a chicken really. Oh, that's strange, isn't it? Very, very strange he is. Very strange. Right, let's just see whether I want this. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I quite like it like that. Are there? Oh, that's very strange. Right, let's just put him, or not him, put that like that. So I'll just glue this one down. Okie dokie. Okay, and I'm going to just put this one on so as it would be a pocket. That. I'll just have that there. Okay. So again, I'm going to just um, stitch around that on the sewing machine, and I'll just stitch around the edge. I may even stitch the pocket. I'm not sure yet. I'll kind of see see whether I fancy doing that when I get there. And then we've got our two corners so we've got that one and this one yeah so just decide which way so I could have them both kind of uh, sorry just working out which way I would have these so I might have them like a bottom tuck and well maybe that one that way up actually so I'm just going to quickly snip this down make it a bit straighter Okay, <clears throat> just take that sort of edge off because it was a little bit sort of rough on there. Okay, let's just see if I want to use any of these bits from the Kaiser Craft things. I mean, thankfully I have, I have not used many of these so I can just continue to hold them for a bit longer. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, what that's about is, uh, who knows, who knows, but I know that we all, or, you know, not, not us all, that's a bit of a sweeping statement, but I know that lots of us do hoard things. I can't even see what that says. Mm, I don't know. Uh, let's just have a look. So we could have that kind of on there. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? So, again, just going to kind of cut this down, get rid of that white edge. Okie dokie. So, I feel like I've made a bit of good progress here because I am, you know, making a start and using these. Oh, I've, I've used two so far. Oh no, I've used four. Sorry, I've used four so far. Is it? But I guess you have to start somewhere, don't you? So, four is better than none, let's just say. Okay, so I've got that there. Um, just wondering whether we wanted any doily or anything like that. Or whether we could have like a number. 
maybe just a number behind him it's quite nice doesn't it so I will glue all this on but I may take this one to the sewing machine as well so just glue these down <clears throat> like that okay let's just glue this one down here just want to make sure I've got room for my little person okay so just glue this one on and I can glue this one on because of course when I stitch around the edge he's not anywhere near the edge so it's fine Dab that off a little bit. Okay, right, we are good to go. And again, just going to ink around the entire piece. Like that. Okay, put that one down. And then this one here, yeah, I'm going to have, I think, that way round. So again, let's just see what we want to pop on here. I've got these fabric stamped stamps, fabric stamped stamps. Um, but I just thought one of these might look quite good on here. So I'm just going to cut that out. I do really like tearing my fabric, but to be honest, this is so tiny. I just don't think I would be able to be able to tear it. So I think what I'm going to do is just try and so I'm just going to rough my edges up with my scissors so it's a bit more frayed than it was. Okay, like that. And then what should we put on here? Oh, we could have her kind of dangling off the edge, couldn't we? Her feet just dangling off. That's quite sweet. So just ink her up a bit. And again, she just needs to be sat on something, I think. So, whoops. Okay, what's she going to be sat on? Maybe like that. Yeah, that's quite quite good these numbers they're really quite handy for um <laughs> just making into little seats and things to be honest okay let me just pop that one there and then I'm just going to stick down my fabric stamp should really have used my fabric tack but this was just what was what was on hand at this second? My fabric tack is only on the shelf, it's not like a million miles away, but this will be fine too. And then we'll just glue her down. Yeah, it's a really horrible, miserable day now. It's just literally like, you know, the rain is just, just there now for the day, I think set in for the whole 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 day I'll just see where I've put my wipe there we go it's raining in Minecraft as well oh, it's raining everywhere maybe okay that's it and again I'm just going to probably just stitch it down on the two sides so I'll just put that on the floor beside me or behind me. And then I've just got this last one. So I'm not going to use these ladies, I said, didn't I? So mm -hmm. perhaps we'll have this couple on here. Something like that. Um, hmm. Let's see whether I want anything else kind of behind them. So this says, because every picture tells a story, which I thought, well, perhaps that's quite nice. Hmm. Just having a quick, 
look to see what else I've got laying about. I know I say it all the time, but I mean, sometimes it's just so shocking, isn't it, that we have all this tons and tons of things and still can't find just the perfect thing. I mean, actually, sometimes I think, you know, too much choice is actually more tricky than, you know, no choice. Sometimes I think no choice is actually easier. Do I want this up here? I don't know. Yeah, I think I would like something up there because um, otherwise it looks a little bit plain. I've got this one once upon a time again. That's quite plain, isn't it? Let me cut the white edges off of this. Oops. Okay, just go around there. Okie dokie, and then, whoops. Okay, I'm just going to ink that up a little bit. Well, that is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I do quite like that. Or do we prefer it down there? Maybe down there is kind of better. Uh, yeah. Do I want to do that? I may just stitch this one as well. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to stitch them all. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and I just then, because of course we can't not have lace, can we, on here? So I'm going to stick the boy down here, just like across here and then just on his feet. So that that middle bit is a complete kind of belly band there. So just pop him down like that, leaning on there. Okay, let's just dab that off. Of course then we can't not have lace, can we? So I've got this lace, which is, I don't really know what colour I would call this. I mean, maybe it's a, I don't know really. Um, I don't know what colour I would describe this as. I mean, it's like a very dark, mink colour I suppose or a sort of slightly more brown charcoal grey. It's quite a nice colour though and I think it just goes really nicely with these pages and with the the boy and you know all of that. So let's just try that up there. So quite like that. It was quite wide so I thought I'll just cut it down and then it will just fit better on there. Okay, and then of course we could have a little bit of bling to just finish it off. So looks really good, doesn't it? So let's just get my fabri tack. Just get that plump off of the end of the bottle. Because it's the first time I've used this today. Okay, so we're just going to have some up here. Okay, like that. And then we're just going to have some down here. Now, obviously I have not made a very good job of cutting this, so I'm just going to try and trim it down slightly better. Might have made it even worse. Oh no, hopefully it's a bit better. So again, just going to glue that down here at the bottom. Don't always kind of you know, top and tail the um, belly bands with the lace. In fact, I would say more often than not, I just have it at one end. But actually on here, I thought it looked rather nice on, oops, on both ends. There we go. And I'm just going to trim that down here. Trim it there. And I can just trim it across the top. Oops, and then just down here as well. Oh, come on. Yay, right. Come on. OK, 
Okay, so that looks all quite nice, doesn't it? I'm just going to just dab in just a little bit of hot glue here, just like in a couple of places, just to hold that lace down because the lace was a little bit, well, it wasn't flapping around exactly, but I just like it to be, you know, properly down. And then we'll just have our bling just down here. Yay, so that looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I love how that looks. So that's the piece, the belly band piece. Then we've got this one, which I did stitch around here. So you've got a pocket here. And then of course it's, you know, stitched around the edge. Now again, I have not made a very good job of cutting that. I don't think it really, you know, matters too much, but I realize it may, <laughs> may be horrible to some people um so again i don't know whether i want to necessarily have lace everywhere so let me just trim this down another ambulance yeah not good is it and then i'm just going to trim this down here across the middle okay <clears throat> and then just decide whether I want to have, let me cut my threads, do I want to have kind of the lace down here, I mean again I could probably, probably make it smaller, or I quite like it actually at the edge to be honest, so I'm going to trim that down slightly thinner because it's still quite fat, I'll just take that down a little bit. Oh my goodness, I've made a really, really horrible job of that. And I might put it that way round so that the, you know, frilly kind of edge of the lace is actually pointing inwards for a change because that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So just go down that side like that. Okay, just trim that down. Okay, take. And then again, let's just have a little bit of bling on there. And just trim that down. Might have the bling there, kind of in the middle. So. Oops, come on. Okay, right. So that's that one. <clears throat> Trim that thread off. Okay, so that looks pretty, doesn't it? Now, I could have something else on there. I don't know quite what. I did reject having people on there, didn't I? Yeah, I'm sure that I kind of said... I didn't want people on there. Let's see whether I want anything. Mm. Enjoy today. They round definitely are not the right shape. Lifetime of memories. I don't think I want any of those bits there. Uh, everything beautiful has its moment. Mm -hmm. They're too big, I think, those. So let's just quickly have a look. Because there were a couple of tags, which I probably wouldn't really use these as tags. So we could just kind of tear that word out. But quote, that's... That's a bit of a rubbish word, isn't it? Well, a rubbish word to have here on this anyway. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to put anything from here. I mean, could have the quill, I guess, and the ink. I know that is kind of a bit strange, but should we just trim this down and see how that looks? 
Just trim that down there. Okie dokie. Okay. Just trim that little bit out there. Oh, just having a look to check what I've done here. I think that came in here. Sometimes hard to tell, isn't it, where you need to be cutting, but yeah, I think that came there like that. Okay. You just went to sleep. Do you mean in your game? Ah. Uh, I was going to say, I've been hearing those little buttons all the time, so that wasn't a very good sleep. Let me just ink this up. Okay. So we could have the quill. I don't know really whether I actually like it, to be honest. Mm, I'm not going to bother. So, yeah, I might just leave this one. It looks pretty. And to be honest, by the time that we put something into the pocket, it will look quite nice. So, that's that one. Oops, I've just put that behind me, forgetting where I was putting it. Right, did we ink this one up already? I can't really remember whether we did. I think we did. Anyway, I'll just ink it a little bit more. Again, we could just have a little bit of lace. You know, maybe just a tiny bit. Or maybe some coming down this edge. So I might just cut out just a smaller piece here. And then shrink it down quite a bit width-wise or, de you know, height-wise. Okay. Whoops. Don't want to be dangling over that girl's head. So, uh, yeah, my daughter's laughing. Okay, what about there? Mm, it's not quite right because I've got that there and if I have the lace there as well, it looks a bit like it's being framed, which just is really strange, isn't it? So I'm going to have it there and then I'm going to trim it off because otherwise it is a bit, a bit too tall. Okay, like that, and then I'm just going to go in here and just snip that down. And then should we just have a little bit of lace, uh, not lace, sorry, a little bit of bling. Just there, I think, and... I now keep pulling the quill in. I'm now kind of determined to use that somewhere, so who knows whether I will manage to. Okay, so that looks pretty, doesn't it? And we've got this one, which again is just a sort of top corner. You can just ink it up a bit, get rid of those threads. Okay, and a bit of lace across the top, and that's great because I can just finish that bit of lace off. It's just kind of perfect size for that. Okay, and again, just snip it off from the other side. Okay. Oh, let's try the quill again. <laughs> I mean, actually, I don't really mind it there. The only thing is, obviously, the feathers are overhanging the page and it's as big as the child, which that's just really peculiar, isn't it? Why would you have, why would you have a feather the size of the child? Okay. Get rid of 
love that. Okay, so I'm just going to have that there. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably just, yeah, trying to over, over decorate them and they actually look quite nice. You know, just with the couple of elements that they've got. Okay. So that's really nice. Okay, so the last one, which we actually didn't um, fully decorate at all because we were, you know, stitching it first. So we were having the couple on here. I think we were doing it that way up. Right, let's ink them a little bit. Okay, ink around here. Okie dokie, and then we're going to have them here, and we're having this, you know, bulldog clip type thing up here. Did we say about having it down here? I think we did, didn't we? Kind of prefer it down there. And then I do wonder whether we could have our quill here. Uh, I mean, again, to be honest, it looks fine without it, but do you know what? I'm going to put it on there because I'm just in that in that mode of I must use up some things. So let's just trim this lace down. Okay, let's get the pieces stuck down. So we've got the number. <coughs> okay. like that and we're going to have this piece here like that Whoa. like that and then we're going to pop our people down just check I haven't got any of those bits, you know, needing to be poked out. Okay. So they are there. Like that. Oops, my gosh, a lot of glue on there seeping out. So I need a, a lot of mopping up on this one. Okay. And then, yeah, I mean, like we say, I don't think it really needs that quill, but I'm just in the, in the zone now and it's like, ooh, Ooh, I'm going to use up something else. I'm just going to have it on there like that. Okay. Like that. Okay, so that looks really nice, doesn't it? And then what did I do with that bit of lace? There it is. So I'm going to just have, and I will, I think, top and tail this again, just like I did with the first one. So just going to pop that lace down there. And what I'll do is then trim this down once it's actually stuck on. So that piece there, and then we can just turn it over. Snip that down. And then we can just take it down at the edges, one there. And one there. Oh, I really like how this piece looks now. Really like it, yeah. And then I'm just going to snip this down so it's not quite so wide. Like that. To finish off the bottom. And actually, I may even have this one curly side up, if you see what I mean. Like that, I think looks really pretty. So let's just do 
the glue down there. Okay. Again, just press that down. Get my fabric tack out of the way. Get this glue out of the way. And then I'm just going to tidy this up just here, across the bottom a little bit, and on that edge. Okay, so that looks really nice. And then obviously the last thing, just need that tiny bit of bling there just to, do we want it there actually? Let me just try it, up. Ooh, try it at the top. Oh, I prefer it at the top, yeah. Sometimes it takes a while to decide, but sometimes you just kind of straight away know, don't you, when you hold it in a different place, you know, you straight away think, oh yeah, that looks a lot better, so. There we go. Okay. Yay! Okay, so let me just now pull in the pieces that we've made. So, and these pieces were obviously, you know, the revisiting pro projects was from my collage masterboard um, scrapbook. And these are the pieces that we've, whoops, sorry, I just had to reach down and get that one from the floor. These are the pieces that we've done today. So I really love them. I hope that you like them. Um, you know, they're really nice and kind of vintagey looking. I must say, I really do, yeah, really like how they came out. So, hope that you like them. And um, if you haven't made one of those collage masterboard scrapbooks, um, you know, do make one because they are such fun. I mean, I, as I say, the biggest problem is then wanting to hoard it and not actually use it. But um, yeah, they definitely make, you know, making pieces super quick and easy. And they're great for when you're kind of lacking a bit of inspiration because you can just flick through. I mean, it's quite inspiring just looking at them anyway, but you know, of course, then you can just pull the page out and kind of see where it takes you. So yeah, I hope that you like the bits that we made and um, thank you so much for joining me for this series. Thank you. Bye.